Good morning. Welcome again to the syntax class. Today we're going to do three diagrams of embedded sentences. We know what an embedded sentence is already. It's an, a dependent clause. It's a sentence within a main sentence. Okay. So uh, please take a look at page 10 in your manuals. Page 10, task number 13 says, Draw a tree diagram for the following sentences. Observe, where is the embedded sentence? Is it in the subject of, a, of the sentence? Is it in the predicate? Once you are done, write the rewrite rules. Okay, so I'm going to do numbers one and two with you, and the rest, the other three, uh, are up to you. The first one says, the children watched the movie that Joan had recommended very good first the first thing that you need to do is distinguish between subject and predicate. The subject of the sentence is the children. The children is my noun phrase. The rest is the predicate. The predicate is the verb phrase. Now, the questions, the instructions say, draw a, the tree diagram for the following sentences. Observe, where is the embedded sentence? Is the embedded sentence inside the subject or inside the predicate? You are right, it's inside the predicate. Where is the embedded sentence? Here. <coughs> Sorry. Introduced by a complementizer, that. Okay? That is a relative pronoun. We call it complementizer. And this complementizer introduces the new sentence, the embedded sentence. Joan had recommended. Joan recommended something is the new sentence, yes? It's extra information that adds to the main sentence, which is the children watch the movie. All right, and we're supposed to write a tree diagram out of it. How do we do this? Well, we start normally. Sentence is noun phrase plus verb phrase, okay, or sentence is subject plus predicate. The, sub, the, no, the subject, the noun phrase, has two elements, the children. The is a determiner, children is a noun. So far, so good. We're done with the subject. Now, we're going to start with the predicate. The predicate is a verb phrase. That means it starts with a verb, watched. And then it continues with a noun phrase. The movie that Joan had recommended is a noun phrase. This is a noun phrase. Okay. Now, the noun phrase has three main elements. One, two, three. The first one is the article, the, is a determiner. The second one is a noun, movie. And then we have the embedded sentence. The embedded sentence is another sentence. We cannot write two sentences like this because they are not the same thing. This is the main sentence. This is just an embedded secondary sentence. So we're going to write S bar instead. Okay. S bar. Yes, we call it S bar. And that's it. Okay. I would like you to stop here and I would like you to do the others, the other sentence. We're going to do number two, two with me. And then you're going to do all the others. And we're going to start like this. Next class, we're going to develop the whole embedded sentence and we will have the full tree plus the, the, the rewrite rule. Okay. But now, so far, you're going to get there and stop there, okay? I'm going to pause and get some more paper. 
All right, let's continue then. Number two says, my little turtle got lost. Were the police has shooting practice. Again, we have the subject of the sentence, my little turtle, versus the predicate, got lost where the police has shooting practice. Now, where is the embedded sentence, inside the subject or inside the predicate? Yes, you are right, it's inside the predicate. Very good. How is it introduced? Yes, by a relative pronoun. Which is the relative pronoun? Yes, it's the word where. This is a complementizer. It introduces the embedded sentence. So the embedded sentence is the police has shooting practice. It's a full sentence, but it's not relevant, as relevant as my little turtle got lost. Yes, the, where the police has shooting practice is just extra information. The main sentence is about the turtle, not about the police or the shooting practice. All right, so how do we do the tree diagram? Sentence is subject plus predicate. Sub sentence is noun phrase plus verb phrase. Now, my subject has three elements. So I need to write three nodes. The first one, my, is a determiner. Little is an adjective and turtle is a noun. So far, so good. Let's continue. Got lost. Okay. Got lost. This is a complex verb. To get lost. Yes. So we're going to... Which one is more important, do you think? To get or to lose? Getting or losing? Yes, you're right. To be lost is the important thing. So get is an... Yes, an auxiliary. Auxiliary plus verb. Other linguists say that it's just a verb, a complex verb, like this. Got lost. Just a verb. So either way is okay. If you don't want to write auxiliary plus verb, perfect. Don't worry. You are right. Okay. And then there is an extra. Where the police has shooting practice. That is the sentence bar. That is the embedded sentence. Okay. And we stop there. Okay. So you can do the others to practice. And then next class, next week, we're going to develop the whole thing, okay? So uh, I only gave you five to practice, but you can do all of them. Actually, if you look at lesson five, there are so many examples. So if you want to do all the examples for practice, that would be perfect. You know practice makes perfect. So, uh, enjoy doing the, the tree diagrams. Goodbye. See you.